When you see John Fetterman is checked into a hospital for depression, or Joe Biden continually stumble upstairs or forget where he is, just remember this story of an incapacitated president and know it could be worse, much worse. In October 1919, President Woodrow Wilson suffered a debilitating stroke that left him partially paralyzed and unable to carry out his presidential duties. During this time, his wife Edith Wilson effectively took over as the de facto president, controlling access to Woodrow and illegally making decisions on his behalf. With Wilson unable to carry out his duties, there was a period of uncertainty and instability in the government. Some historians believe that Wilson's illness may have contributed to the failure of his agenda and the rise of conservative opposition. The controversy surrounding Wilson's illness and the question of who's really in charge of the government during his incapacitation continues to be debated by historians to this day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more historic updates just like this.